Okay, so an optional question. By taking the option, you'll get better options in life, though. Um, it's, it is a difficult question. I found it to be difficult myself. Um, it's, it's a sum problem. It's certainly going to involve summation notation. And there's a general pattern to it. So certainly I see a 10 everywhere. And then I'm seeing this, it's a nested root, you know, root 1, root 2, up to root 99. Uh, this little difference, minus root 1, minus root 2, up to root minus root 99. So I called the top A10, I called the bottom B10. I saw the pattern, AN, and it, you know, it looks like this over here. Again, this might be a little hard to understand, but the N is 10, so it's going from 1 um, to 99. Right, because if n is 10, that would be 100 minus 199. And, um, and then I write a10 down for you. So a10 is the top part. And bn, again, general pattern. It's really the same thing as an, except the minus sign. And then I write b10 down for you. All right? These are nested roots. So what I did was um, I looked at this. Let me get my eraser out. I looked at this. Let's write this down. And I looked at this, right? And I took their difference. And I squared it. It's really kind of easy to square, by the way. You know, the square of, you know, the root of uh, 10 plus root K, you get this. The square of 10 minus root K, you get this over here. All right, we're just squaring these terms over here. And then minus two, the product of those two terms, all right? So, you know, kind of adding it together. Let me get my ratio right again. I'll tell you what I'm adding together here. 10 plus 10 is 20. What's nice is the root k's disappear. I do get a 2. And I took these two radicands and multiplied them together. And they're conjugates. All right, so what you get? You get 100 minus k. And that's what I've written over here. Let me get my ratio out. I'm just talking through the k. And then what I did is I wrote down something over here, all right? Uh, what I did was I squared both sides. Let me get back this over here. I'm sorry, square root of both sides, I'm sorry. Get this over here, square root. How'd I do that? I factored out a 2 over here. Write that down. This is 2. This would be 10 minus the root of 100 minus k. Square root of both sides, relatively simple. And then I take the sum of both sides. Let me erase right again. I took the sum of both sides. Well, it's the sum of a difference, so I'm just taking the, the, the sum of each of those terms. And what I say, I, I'm, I'm really back to, you know, A10 minus B10. And then what I did over here, it looked a little confusing to me. I took this thing and I expanded it. All right? You know, starting at 1, you'd get 99 and 98, all the way down to 1. And what do I notice about this? It's really the, the, the same thing as B10, just in reverse order. All right, so this thing over here is B10. So I wrote that down. That's right over here. And then I just realized I have a linear equation now. And so it's going to be A10 equals, you know, the root 10 of B10 plus B10. I factor out B10. I'm left with root 2 plus 1, and then I divide both sides by b10. I get this over here. This is what we wanted, by the way. This is what we're looking for. Right? It's a long road. We got there. What do we know it is? We know it now is root 2. Let's go back. Plus 1. All right? By the way, I also ran some sage code in this just to check it out. All right? So I did the sage code in this over here. I do want to point out using Sage. Again, I'm not an expert in this. Then you can look at the code if you want. It was really complicated. You know, typing A was not complicated. You can look at the code, by the way. But the answer was complicated. It really didn't look like this. All right? And what I had to do was I had to set up a Boolean to make sure that they were the same. But the answer that spit back to me was really long. All right? Now, again, you can approximate it by doing the dot end notation. But the bottom line is I want to see if it's exactly the same thing as this over here. All right? Thank you.